Hello everyone. This is Rob with Yo Photo Dude. We're going to step away from our normal fare for a while and do an unboxing video. Yeah, th this channel is not about equipment, it's about taking photos. But we do have a little special treat that showed up in the mail today. And that would be a lovely new Nikon Z6 II. The full frame mirrorless camera with a 24 to 70 kit lens and the FTZ adapter so I can use all of my existing great Nikon glass. Let's unbox these puppies and see what all kinds of good stuff we got. Let's start with the FTZ adapter. Kind of set it up here on top. Got all the requisite paperwork. And stuck inside this bubble wrap is another plastic bag with the FTZ adapter in it. Let me get the lens caps off for you. You can see that this is basically just a pass-through spacer that lets you attach it to the camera. And the lens goes on this side and through the contacts it passes electrical signals to and from um, the older F-mount lenses to the new body and allows them to work perfectly. This is a wonderful tool. But let's get to the heart of it. Let's open up our new Z6 Mark II. We have the two uh, manuals, which are extremely pared down from a traditional Nikon manual, which is usually about 700 pages thick. And we've got a Spanish and English version of it. We have the warranty card. And some little thing from Nikon promoting something. And inside the tray, Um, I suspect this is a bag for the lens. I'll set this box down so I can two-hand this stuff. And here is the lens that comes with it. This is a 24 to 70 f/4, which is an intermediate um, wide to short telephoto lens. It's good for everyday photography. And this will be my very first Z-mount lens, and I've only heard great things about these. In this section of the box, i to keep things nice and neat here, because if I ever want to sell this, I want to sell the whole kit with all the boxes and stuff. But I don't plan to do that for a very long time. And this will be the lens hood for the lens. Um, I love lens hoods because they do a great job at helping me protect the lens. It snaps right on there and I don't have to worry about bumping it too much. Over on this side we have our uh, USB-A to USB-C cord. This will actually let me charge and run the camera while it's charging. Which is a really kind of cool feature. This is the battery adapter. It's the standard um, MH25. Uh, there's another little symbol on it that I can't read, so this is probably a slightly more modern version of that. Here is the camera strap. We won't be using that. We'll be putting my personal favorite strap on it. This little doohickey is the power adapter um, for the charger. Slides in there. And let's me plug it into a wall mount. Battery goes in this hole uh, to charge up. We're going to need that shortly. There are a couple of other 
odd attachments here that I'm going to have to figure out what they do. I believe they are part of a cable routing management system um, that lets you, if you're doing video and stuff like that, and you have an external recorder, a microphone plugged in, headphones, this lets you route those cables in a more safe fashion. And I think this is another part of that. Um, once I get into video, I may have to explore that, so we'll keep that kind of handy. And the last important piece for the day, before we get to the camera itself, is the new EN EL15C battery. This battery is what allows the camera to charge and be used at the same time. The previous EN ELB batteries could be charged but not used. And um, the nice thing about this camera is it uses any previous ENEL15 battery, um, depending on uh, what type it is, will depend on the feature set. And now, the big Kahuna, except it's not that big. Do the shrink wrap, and the bubble wrap, and here we have it. The Nikon Z6 II, officially my very first mirrorless camera. We previously had a Z5 that I purchased on the Nikon Yellow program, which gave me a 30-day evaluation period to decide if I wanted to go mirrorless. I really loved that camera. It just had a couple of features that it didn't have that this camera has, like the ability... Now, if you can see inside there, there's a bunch of little contacts in there. I can now put a functioning vertical grip on this camera and be able to use it. This camera is also a little bit faster because I'm an old sports action photographer. I love fast cameras and this camera hopefully will be quick enough to take care of my needs. Alright, so let's move the box out of the way. Now, <clears throat> one of the problems when you first get a camera like this is the battery isn't charged. But I have a solution for that. <clears throat> so here's my uncharged EL, EN EL15C. But I have a regular old EL EN15 from my D500 and previous cameras that I can pop in and should be able to power this puppy right up. And sure enough, the camera's on and ready to go. Can't take photos with it because it's missing two other pieces that don't come with the camera, but you have to buy them. And those are your camera cards. This camera can use a XQD card or CF Express card in one slot and an SD card in the other. I just happen to have an XQD card from my D500. Um, well, actually I have two of them, but this is the bigger one and we will be using it as the primary card for this camera. If I can get the thing open. Ah. So, durable little things. It's one of the reasons that Nikon went with them. So, one of the benefits of this camera, as you've probably read in many other videos, is it has dual card slots. So we'll pop the XQD card in the XQD slot. Now, I happen to have a 120 gig card, um, which would be more than enough storage for a 24 megapixel camera. And I don't think I'm really going to need the speed of a CF Express card. I may eventually invest in it, but for now, this card should be plenty fast for the work I'm going to be doing. And then I have an old, slow SD card that's UHS-1. It only does about 95 megabits a second of data transfer. So it's on the pokey side. Um, it's also only a 64 gig card, so I'm, I'm kind of at a mismatch uh, with it. But to get us started, this will be perfectly fine. I will pop it in the camera and we're good to go. So now we'll take the front lens cap off. You can see the lovely huge Nikon Z mount. We'll take the back cap off of the lens. That thing's nice and stiff. 
put it on, click it into pay, place, and we have a functional mirrorless Nikon Z family camera to work with. Thank you for watching.